It's that time again. It's time to do my Sonic Advance 2 walkthrough that I promised a little while ago. Now, I did a test run through this game, well I should say most of the way through the game, and I now remember why I stopped playing this game. This game is so annoying. I, there are so many cheap deaths, so many cheap hits. It's just absolutely horrible, but let's just start this game and see how it goes. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Let's start Leaf Forest. Woo! And we're moving along towards the right side, catching rings and... Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, I forgot, actually, how to do the trick controls, or I should say when the opportunities for trick controls are. I'm pretty sure it's the R button to do them when I have the opportunity. Let's just try it right here. No, that's not it. <laughs> and... Uh, I know it's definitely the R button, though, for tricks. Whoops, I fell. <laughs> down is death, remember. You're not supposed to go down, but I did it anyway. And these springy things, you have to stand on the tip, but uh, they don't always uh, spring you as high as you would expect them to do, so I'll have to say give you kind of problems, and that's not pretty. <laughs> Woo, spinning away. Woo. Oh, I mistimed that one. Spin, and yeah, I love the spin dash. You gotta love the spin dash. That's like the best addition to any Sonic game ever. I've said that before, but I can't say it enough. It keeps the speed going and uh, it also makes the players happy because speed is what Sonic is about. Woo, look at him go! And I think that's almost... Oh, that thing that I just collected was a uh, special ring. If you collect seven of them in a level, you'll get to go to the uh, special zones. But you know how I feel about special zones. I'm not going to be uh, doing the special zones in this walkthrough. Just going to be playing through the regular stages because I hate special zones in Sonic stages. Except in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Those are the only ones that I ever liked. So, uh, yeah, this is just going to be a stage run. You know, just doing all the acts of the game. <laughs> Dang coconuts. <laughs> they have bugged me since Sonic 2. And... By the way, those um, grinding rails that you've seen right there, you absolutely have to land on the flat part for some reason. If you land on the slope part, you won't catch on to the rail, which is complete and total bull. Because how are you going to know where the flat part is until a dang rail is right in your face? But anyway, whoa, I got a... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about something else. And, uh, oh, oh man, I missed, I missed the spot, dang it. And I'm gonna have just enough speed to get past this loop, and, uh, aww. <laughs> that was just bad timing on my part for the controls. And up here, yeah, there we go. Aw, oh, come on, I knew that was there too. And I keep going down, stop going down, PK Gam. What are you thinking? Jump to go up, don't fall. <laughs> Oh, I missed that. Jump too. I wasn't going fast enough that time. That was my fault. And, uh, ooh, I think we're near the end. And yes, we are. Oh, yeah, depending on how fast you go uh, at the at this goal gate here, see with the checkered floor like that, you get uh, differing amounts of points. I think the highest you can get is 800. At least I think it's points. I'm pretty sure it is points. Oh, God, it's the bosses. The bosses are so annoying in this game. The reason is because, just just look how this plays right now. Because he swung his hammer, and now I have to walk, I mean, I have to run to catch up with him. Because we're obviously on a auto-scroll stage. Which makes absolutely no sense, in my opinion. Because Sonic should be faster than any of uh, Eggman's machines here. But anyway, what the problem with this is that the fact that it control like that. The fact that uh, you have to have such precise timing on any of the bosses in the game, like I had the wrong timing with that uh, part, so now I have to redo it, and, and that was almost the wrong timing right there, because as you see, it gives you just enough time to hit him, even with uh, um, that big gap between hammer swings. And that's a big problem on, you know, level 1 bosses. Level 1 bosses should not not be this tricky. But whatever, we beat them. Woohoo! And looks like we're going to level 2, or should I say, act 2. Um, yeah! Well, that's it. Alright, let's go. Next is Hot Crater. What's with game makers and having level uh, lava and level designs? I mean, seriously. This is what makes me think that games are not meant to be real in any way. Nah, I'm just kidding. 
Um, because anyway, like, if you were actually in a... Aw, oh, that was just cheap. Like, stuff like that ticks me off about this game. Anyway, like, uh, you weren't supposed to be able to go into a crater without some sort of oxygen system because of the sulfurous fumes of the lava below you. But no, game makers have to use that lava. <laughs> Woo, look at me swing. No, 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 oh shoot. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I, I, that's why I said no, but I failed to jump in time. And down and around and woo! Yeah, I'm just pretty much going forward on the first couple levels. These first couple levels aren't bad, but it's when the later levels come that you have these cheap deaths, these uh, random hits out of nowhere. I, I tried to spin dash here. Sure. Woo! And moving. Oh boy! <laughs> woo! Oh, by the way, you'll notice that I got like a. Uh, uh, illusion effect over my body. When you uh, uh, run on a straightaway or a, a platform for a certain amount of time, you get that effect. And uh, I just realized something. If I can't do tricks, and I'm having kind of trouble with this controller today for some reason, maybe I'm low on batteries or something, if I can't do tricks, I won't be able to finish this walkthrough because it requires me to do tricks later on in the playthrough. So, and that's quite a big problem. And look at that, we're done with Act 1. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should be able to do tricks on some of those things. I'm clicking the R button, <laughs> but I'm failing to do any tricks. Well, this is act, uh, Hot Crater Act 2, and we got a little, uh, I don't know, relay thing going around here with Sonic. It just like seems like these level des levels were practically designed for him, but you know, Eggman would never do that. <laughs> Gotta be those crazy game designers that put lava that you would normally die in in real life. You know, with the sulfurous fumes. And around the loops, and woo, and down there. And another thing, hedgehogs are not that fast creatures. I mean, come on, guys. You know that in the Animal Kingdom. Hedgehogs are not fast at all. But look at him go. Woo! I am a spiky bullet. <laughs> uh, ow, no. I didn't see that coming, but that was okay. That was kind of my fault because I forgot. I didn't see it when I was going up between them. And can I get up this hill? Yes, I can. Was I supposed to go this way? No, I wasn't. That was my fault once again. And okay, that was a cheap shot there. They moved a little bit. And no, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I don't have any rings. <laughs> and can I get up uh, here? Here is the correct way. Here's some rings. Yay! I got some rings. And oh, I just realized. This is the end of this part, so I'm gonna, yeah, hit that checkpoint, and yeah, this is the end of this part. I'm gonna switch controllers. See you guys later.